Okay, so I've been wanting to talk about the Amber Rose situation all week, but my voice only just came back after losing it Saturday night. So uh, if you haven't heard, the basis of it is that this lady, Amber Rose, was out hunting bears. She saw what she claimed was a wolf pup. It was very clearly a Siberian Husky. She shot it, skinned it, posted pictures online, um, and then faced a lot of backlash for it, as she should. At this time, it's looking like she's probably not going to face any consequences of her actions, because why would she? I have a lot of thoughts and opinions about the situation, I'm pretty sure everybody does, but one thing I really want to say, and I hate to say it, but this is not the first time I've seen it, and this is probably not the last time I'm going to see this happen. One quick thing to know about me, I am pretty big on making sure you don't label your dog as a wolf. Believe it or not, I had at least a dozen different people call my last dog, Gunner, who was a German Shepherd Golden Retriever mix, a wolf dog. When people did this, I would always correct them and explain to them why my dog does not look like a wolf, and that he is not at all part wolf. If you own a wolfy looking dog, or if your dog is ever labeled as a wolf or wolf dog by somebody else, please correct them. People don't know what dogs and wolves look like apparently anymore. They think that they look the same, even when they really don't. So the more that we work on breaking that down, the less people can use this, oh I thought it was a wolf excuse. And I hate to victim blame here, but if you do own a wolfy looking dog, or if your dog ever gets mislabeled as a wolf, please keep a high visibility collar on them at all times, or at least when you're out, especially if you do stuff like hiking, and don't let your dog free roam. You shouldn't be doing that anyway, but it's not worth the risk if your dog looks like a wolf or a coyote to people. Now, personally, I think that we should also try to work on getting wolves relisted in the lower 48 U.S. states. We don't have that high of wolf populations down here. And if you want to come at me with any predator hatred, this is not the space for you. I am just going to block you and delete your comments. And while I don't think it's really going to happen, at least not with this case, we need to have some kind of penalty for hunters who are misidentifying their targets beyond just poaching. Because in this situation, it wasn't considered poaching. She didn't shoot any wildlife. Fish and Game has said, it's not our problem. But anyone who thinks that one of these looks at all like one of these has no real business having a hunting license. They should have that revoked or at least challenged. We need more hunter education or something if somebody thinks that these animals look remotely the same. Now, I'm not anti-predator hunting, clearly, but I am pro-common sense. We need to start taking action to make sure that something like this stops happening. We need to do something to create change. So for me, I'm going to work on trying to get people enthused about wildlife and teach them the anatomical differences between animals. I also try to fight against predator hatred. Enough is enough, so let's work for a future where we don't have to hear stories like this anymore.